morning. It's Thursday morning, September the 8th, 2022, and it's a joy to be able to share some thoughts with you from the scriptures today. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and this morning for our devotion, we're going to read Proverbs chapter 28, verse 5. Proverbs 28, verse 5 says this, Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. And this is a statement simply about the wisdom that the Spirit of God brings to a person's life who is willing to submit to, to the Lord. Evil men don't understand. They don't get it. They, they understand not judgment. Another word for judgment in the Bible is justice. They don't understand the consequences of things. They don't understand the holiness of God. And, of course, a person would not unless they were brought into close proximity with that truth and had it clearly explained to them, or else if the Spirit just gives them an understanding of the justice of God. And so evil men don't comprehend that, but those who know the Lord can. And those who are submissive to Christ, those that seek the Lord, understand all things, the Bible says. And it kind of reminds me of 1 Corinthians chapter 2 that says that it hasn't even entered the heart of man the things that God has prepared for them that love him. But that wisdom of God comes from comparing spiritual things with spiritual. And we can understand truth and we have the key to truth in that we have the Spirit of God. The Bible says we have the mind of Christ there in 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And the Bible teaches us about the holiness of God and we understand his character better because of the Spirit of God. The Bible teaches us in Hebrews chapter 2 that every transgression and disobedience will receive a just recompense of reward, and that's in keeping with God's character. And that's why Jesus said in John chapter 3, you must be born again, is because everybody's under the condemnation of sin. All of us humans, all of us mortals have the old sinful nature, the Adamic nature, and that causes us to be under divine wrath. And so we need a salvation that we cannot provide for ourselves. Thank the Lord that God in his grace, love, and mercy has provided for us a salvation that we don't deserve and that we could never earn. And, but then we, we, we grow to understand the necessity of it just because God is a God who hates sin and must judge sin. If he's going to be perfect in his love, he's also got to be perfect in his justice He's got to be perfect in every way, and of course he is, and that that in, entails judging all sin. Every transgression, every disobedience receives a just recompense of reward. And he is a just judge as well as being a very kind, gracious, and loving Heavenly Father. What a blessing to know the Lord. What a blessing to be able to understand the truths of God's Word, and understand the difference between justice and judgment and righteousness versus wickedness and evil and what God classifies as sin. Keep your eyes on the Lord and trust him and look to him for the understanding that you need to be able to navigate life. God bless you today.